Good morning, everybody. So this is day four of our maths data, and we're going to move away from line graphs now, and we're going to have a think about pie charts. Now, pie charts are things that you will have seen many, many times before around, and actually many of you, I know, use them in uh, when you do feature articles and things like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, a bit deeper into pie charts and the skills you need in order to understand pie charts and actually construct your own pie charts using digital tools. Okay, so if we have a look here, there is a video which explains in a bit more depth about the importance of fractions and pie charts here. Okay, so please do watch that video because it kind of gives a bit more detail here and try to answer these questions. Use your text boxes and give some answers to the questions on here so that your teacher can see your thinking. Okay, then you're going to move on and you're going to have a go at working out these questions here. Okay, so you can choose to do this working out uh, by hand and take a picture and put your thinking in here, or you can um, write your thinking down here on the actual screen, just double click on here. Please do delete this. Please show your thinking statement here first, okay? So really have a look at this, um, and remember to watch this video because it will explain how you're gonna be, uh, or strategies you can use in order to work out these uh, questions here. Okay, so there's one question here, and then there is another question here. And again, you see that kind of relationship to fractions and uh, pie charts here. Okay, so what we're going to do then with this one is we're going to actually begin to create your own version of what you've just completed up here. So um, have a look at the questions that are down here and on this slide as well. And think about how you can create questions that are based around data presented on a pie chart. Don't forget here, look, you have uh, the legend here, which tells you what each color represents. So if you're going to write questions about it, I would suggest you open your text box here, like so, and then you can write your uh, what, what is green going to represent to you. I mean, this could be number of M&Ms in a packet, for example, um, or, or anything really. It's totally up to you. This way you can be creative. And then we'd like you to write a set of five questions here relating to it. So for example, I might say how many uh, more yellow M&Ms were there than green M&Ms um, if, if there were 25 in the packet. One of the key features that I will say that you need to do though is you need to be really, really uh, clear on what the whole is. Okay, so here they've said 96 people, that is our whole. 48 people, so it's giving you the fraction, but then you can work out the whole. Okay, so on this one, you can choose to do it where you tell us the exact number of a particular fraction so that we can work out what the whole is, or you tell us what the whole is and then ask questions based on that. So there were 50 people that liked chicken sandwiches, and that could be blue, and there were 25 people that liked tuna sandwiches, and there were how many people that liked ham sandwiches, and how many people liked cheese sandwiches, okay? So it could be, we need to have enough information so that we can work out what the whole is, and then we can work out the fractions of that whole from that, okay? Any questions, do drop in with your teacher. I will see you soon.